Now, there's just one more ingredient I want to draw into the mix before, for now at least, we leave Ireland behind us. I'm still in Ulster. I'm in Antrim, which is Ireland's most northeastern point. And that, right over there, behind Rathlin Island, that's Scotland. That's the Mull of Kintyre. And it's at this point that I want to draw Scotland into this story of interweaving nations. Now, just now, I was over in that church in Ballantoy, and it struck me how, unless you're an expert, you'd be hard pushed to know if the names on the graves were Scottish or Irish in origin. Names like Stuart and Colgan and Jameson, and all those Max, Mackay, McMullen, McNeil. Now, in part, that's because the Irish and the Scots share Gaelic roots, but also, and this is the important point, it wasn't just the English that came here to Ulster in the days of the plantations, the Scots came here too, which means that here in Ulster is where Scotland's empire story begins. In 1603, Elizabeth died childless, and the English crown passed to her cousin, James, the King of Scotland, which meant that now England and Scotland, two separate nations, shared the same ruler. James offered grants of plantation here in Ulster, and even more than the English, the Scots came here. They settled, they lived and died here in their thousands. Ireland these days is divided between north and south. Only this northern part of Ireland, the six counties of Ulster, remains a part of the United Kingdom. And that's a hangover from the days of the plantations. The fact is, so many English and Scots settled here, the Protestants have remained in a majority ever since. When nationalists rose in rebellion against British rule at the start of the 20th century, here in the north, they fought to stay a part of the United Kingdom. And up here in the villages of County Antrim, that proud patriotism is proclaimed from every lamppost. And so the pieces of our national jigsaw fit together. In 1707, an act of union was passed between England and Scotland, and Great Britain was formed. In 1800, an act of union was passed between Great Britain and Ireland, and the United Kingdom was born. The UK today is what's left of that jigsaw. There's a legend from Irish mythology that explains the creation of these extraordinary volcanic rocks here at the Giant's Causeway on the coastline of County Antrim. It's said a Scottish giant tore up these boulders to block the pursuit of an Irish giant of, he thought, even greater size. Well, the truth is that this giant that transformed Ulster wasn't Scottish, but British. English and Scottish combined, and now, with this act of union in 1707, this British giant stood ready for new adventures even further across the seas. And it's now that the story of the British Empire can truly begin.